everyone and welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with another WWE Ultimate Edition review on the brand new WWE Ultimate Edition Amazon exclusive Fan Takeover Ultimate Warrior figure. That was a mouthful. But today, man, we have our second rendition of the Ultimate Warrior in our Ultimate Edition line from Mattel in WWE. Looking pretty solid here in package. I think it's a pretty beautiful mock figure, to be honest with you. I'm not the biggest Warrior fan of all time, but this figure's looking pretty damn good. I will say it's kind of like an upgraded Ultimate Edition form of an Elite we've gotten in the past. And it's actually an Elite that I got rid of a very long time ago. I think it was like four or five years ago. I went through my collection and I kind of just binged like every single legend in my collection. Any figure that I just did not see me using in the future. I didn't really have an attachment to. I just freaking scanned through it, man. I, I, I sold it. I sold it off. I made a pretty good buck off of all of my legends and I kind of regret it to this day, but I want to say I used that money to put towards the pick fed and that's kind of how the pick fed like launched off. And I guess we could just kind of give it to that. You know, those legends kind of paved the way for the pick fed a little bit there, but this is Amazon exclusive. You can't get this at ringside collectibles. This is actually my second one. I got one on mock and then I got this one. This one's kind of got some crunchiness going up a here so hopefully my other one will be a little bit better condition but we're gonna open this guy up as you guys can see it is the fan takeover so we got the fan takeover logo there you got ultimate warrior up the top you can't really have the ultimate edition line without ultimate warrior i just wish this was a different attire since we've seen this before which we're gonna get into of course but you got your full-fledged packaging you got your championships ultimate edition down here you got some more verbiage ultimate warrior on the side a beautiful image of the figure and the warrior down here i know kyle peterson will be happy with this release i'm sure i'm sure he'll be hyping it up sooner than later you guys can see this one won the vote. WrestleMania 6 is the gear. It won 42%. Survivor Series 1990, 37%. SummerSlam 1989 had 22%. And I really wish the other two would have won. I get it because of the championships and stuff like that. Like, I get it. I understand why people voted for this. But I would have liked to have seen a different gear than we would gotten already. However, if we spin it around to the side a little bit more, you got Ultimate Warrior there. And that pretty much wraps up our packaging, man. But now that we have covered the packaging, let's crack the Ultimate Warrior out of the packaging and see what what all we got. So here's the Ultimate Warrior out of his packaging, man. Looking pretty solid. I like the color scheme. You know, the WrestleMania 6 gear is looking pretty fire, if I, if I have to say so myself. A lot of stuff that we saw with the first Ultimate Edition, we are going to get into the comparison, of course. But a lot of the things we saw with the Ultimate Edition, the first go-around, is a lot of the stuff we're getting the second go-around. You know, that's that's kind of the way it goes here. We do have some upgrades. We do have a, some new additions, which we will get into, of course. But uh, with all these things being said, man, this is just a one-off review. So all we got to do is dive into his accessories, then we'll take a closer look at the figure itself. So getting into the Ultimate Warriors Ultimate Edition accessories right here, man. Let's start off with the beauties in the set, man. We gotta start off with the championships. Now, we have seen both of the... I think we've seen everything you're getting in this set. We've seen this all before. I think we've seen every single part of this figure before, except for maybe the torso on this Ultimate Warrior, which we'll get into. But you have the yellow Intercontinental Championship. I think we saw this with his Royal Rumble Elite, if I'm not mistaken, right? We'll take a closer look at the comparison shot of that figure and this figure in this video. But uh, it's beautiful. I mean, it's one of the better looking championships, I'd say, or versions of the Intercontinental Championship. I like the yellow strap. I like the white strap a hell of a lot better than the black strap. It's not my favorite design of the Intercontinental title. I know a lot of people love the Intercontinental title, but for me, the oval version of the Intercontinental Championship is my favorite. But this is still beautiful. I'm glad that we get another rendition of this to add to the collection to our displays and stuff. Kind of a harder, you know, figure belt to come by, so I do like that. We also have, of course, the WWF Championship, which also looks great. We've seen this multiple times before. We've seen it with not this specific. I think we got, like, like what the black world version when we got the elite legends figure or that weird you know random elite legends line that we got in the middle of the elites that one time like i remember finding that in elite 45 all at once i think at my toys r us by my right next to my college in like 2015 or 2016 i want to say it was 2015 i think but that was a great day that was a hell of a great day i remember i remember seeing all those figures and just losing my damn mind and it feels like just yesterday and now here we are but both championships look incredible we also get two fisted hands which you've seen a million times he also comes with mike holding hands out of the packaging and then we have his head sculpts which we have seen these before and I'll, I'll try to pull up images of that figure i think this is the exact same head sculpt i don't hate it you know i think the likeness of warrior is there it's i, I wish we could get a new one but i understand why we have it but it would be cool to see a new rendition of the head or at least a new version of ultimate warrior or true effects or something and we've seen this head sculpt before too i think we've seen this head sculpt with not only face paint but also non-face paint before i think we've seen both versions of 
that. So it's kind of crazy that we've seen that. Or maybe this is the head they use with this face paint, and then this time they took it off. You know, it's kind of like your pre-match versus your post-match. You know, all the paint melts off his face there, or, you know, just rubs off from the sweat. But I like both head sculpts. I don't hate them. I'd like to see some updated versions, but I don't hate them whatsoever. But there is your accessories for your Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warrior. Now, starting off with the head sculpt, man, we just took a look at the head sculpt, so I don't want to spend a ton of time on it. But going down into the torso, you got your Warrior logo there with your yellow, your black, and your pink. And it looks good on this torso. You do have the butterfly joints. One thing that I'm noticing immediately is how good the joints are, man. I hope that we see this going forward with all joints on all WWE figures, not just Ultimate Editions, and not just Ultimate Warriors, because this uh, this butterfly right here is a lot tighter than I've seen the butterfly joints in the past. I've seen some get super duper loose, a la Steve Austin, a la I think even John Cena's figure. So seeing this tight makes me very hopeful for the future. Hopefully we get another John Cena Ultimate Edition one day. Sure, we probably will, but you do have all those beautiful armbands on here. One thing that I think they could have done is absolutely made this sculpted right here on the wrist tape. Not a lot of stuff going on with this figure and a lot of reuse, so I would have loved to have seen this. And not necessarily the wristband, you know, sort of sculpt, but I think you could have used the wristband sculpt, man. Like, did a wristband, like a new wristband sculpt with all the different colored tapes going on. Like, give us that, you know, the four patterns right there that he was wearing on that night. That would have been really cool to see, but it is just painted on there. You get the warrior mask logos and stuff going on on the trunk. Same thing on the back there in the orange and the bright colors. You guys know the warrior was Jack guy. He looked like a damn superhero running down to the ring. You do have your knee pads, and then you have your, your tassels down here that we've all seen. You got the Ultimate Edition boots down there with his logos there. And what's really cool is you can make him run there, so you do have this operational look here. I remember when we first reviewed the first Ultimate Edition, and I remember this being like so cool to see them have that for action figure photography. Now we get it again here on our second Ultimate Edition. No pinless joints or anything, but you do get the movable, posable deal there for, you know, pick fed, stop motion, and action figure photography. Now, this figure feels pretty good in hand. It feels a lot better than the first go around. I will say he's not on ball joints, and these things do pop out, I will say, especially this one knee pad. I don't know why this keeps popping out, but overall, I mean, the figure moves fairly well. Get out of here, accessories. I like the way he poses around, and we are going to do some Ultimate Edition figure comparisons. So here's a look at our first go around for the Ultimate Edition, and you guys can see here, I think this is the Halloween Havoc Ultimate Warrior from the Ultimate Edition here, and this figure is just all kinds of wobbly, man. He is all over the place. Like, he is, uh, he's not necessarily loose, but, uh, yeah, he doesn't stand very well, and I remember complaining about that, but you guys can see here the difference in the Ultimate Edition torsos here, and he doesn't have the addition of the, you know, the, the butterfly joints there, but I still like this figure. I, I thought it was kind of a, wasn't the hype, most hyped about it, but I did like the attire, and you guys can just kind of see how he, like, is posed around. Like, he wants to, like, fall over and move, so, uh, yeah, that, that's definitely annoying. No, like, like, see that? His feet always spread out. This one doesn't do that, so that's pretty cool to see, but damn, this figure right here, I forgot how bummerific it is when it's, like, trying to be posed around. It's definitely a figure that I would probably keep mock there as the as the tassels fall off, but at the same time, it is solid. I know it's highly sought after. I thought about getting rid of it, but I kind of want to have that Ultimate Edition, you know, complete collection there, so that's kind of difficult, but here's a look at some other Ultimate Warrior comparisons. So I'll be the first to admit, I definitely need more Ultimate Warriors in my collection. I'm missing quite a few here, you know, all the different, like the 1 of 15s they made and the craziness. I also have the Legends figure in the suit, but I didn't feel like, you know, the ring gear really fit with those figures, but you got the you got the Elite 26, the Royal Rumble Elite, the Ultimate Edition the first time, the second Ultimate Edition, the ringside exclusive WrestleMania 12 Ultimate Warrior, I think it is, and then we have the Hall of Fame Ultimate Warrior over there. Plenty more Warriors I'm missing. I'm missing like a Legends figure. I'm missing the Elite version of this figure. I'm missing, uh, there's tons. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them that I'm missing. The Finding Moments, the, the Ultimate the Ultimate Maniacs Ultimate Warrior, which I thought was just absolute buns. So there's a lot that I need to track down, make a colorful shelf full of, but that'll come at a later date. One thing I will, the one thing I do love about most Ultimate Warriors is they give him like this. They don't do it on the Ultimate Edition here, but I love how they put the dry brushing over the hair. It really gives it some depth and kind of brings his hair to life, which I thought was pretty accurate. But at the same time, man, this is your Ultimate Warrior Ultimate Edition figure comparisons. And overall, I do like the figure and I'm glad to have this back in my collection after losing that Elite so long ago. It's cool to upgrade that figure here, and I'd rather have this version of it than the Elite version that we got so long ago, so maybe it's not so bad after all. But I think that pretty much wraps up our Ultimate Edition review on the Amazon exclusive fan takeover WWE Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warrior. Overall, I do like the figure. I think it is an upgrade from his first go around. I like this torso better. I like the way the butterfly joints look. I like the way that it looks. We did get a lot of reuse with this guy. It is a repeat gear, but I think any Ultimate Warrior fan is going to be happy with it. If you guys missed out on that first go around Elite, this is a great upgrade. And you guys know if you guys missed out
out on this, I know it's going to skyrocket in price, man. That's just the way it is. So if you guys miss out on the pre-order, I do apologize. Hopefully, they'll get a second rendition of it. You know, they'll get another, you know, redo of it, a reproduction or a re-release, you know, where they get more, you know, more goes at it and we don't just get the one shipment. I'm sure they'll do multiple shipments. At least I hope so for everybody's sake out there that wants it. But again, this is not a ringside exclusive. This is Amazon exclusive. So you do want to get in on that and all those things, man. But I like the figure overall. Not my favorite character, but I do like the championships. I like the way the figure looks. And I think if you're a Warrior fan, you will enjoy it, man. But anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up this review. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts on the figure down in the comment section below. Did you guys grab this or did you miss out on it? Still waiting. I never got my Hulk Hogan Ultimate Edition Amazon exclusive fan takeover. That is one of the figures that I've never reviewed on the channel because I never got it. Mine never got in. I think it like canceled or something like that. And I do apologize for that. However, hopefully maybe, you know, maybe when I finally get that in, if you guys want to see a review on that, I can do that, man. But I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. We have some pretty epic WWE Legends news dropping tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like Mattel when they re-release this figure in Ultimate Edition form when we already had an Elite of it. And I would have liked to see in different gear. You cross the line.